This time we're going to edit the graphical list and again the document list only we're going to use a special command to decide whether we see the document list in the actual list itself, whether we see it at the end of the list or whether we don't see it at all. So we load the page template by right clicking on document list and use load page template. At the top of the page we need to add an extra control code so control A to select all and explode the report. We can copy a piece of text by dragging down whilst holding control and then we can use a special piece of text there which if we use control E to edit the text we can put in there as being first content line. Now if we put that as being a particular value for instance we put that as being three then when we run the report this content list will actually be at the third position in the line. So let's have a go at that, doing that. Control A, right click and block as a title block. Close it down and save it. And then right click, generate to generate that list. If we double click, we can see that after three pages, we see the document list. Let's do this again with another control code. Load the page template. This time I don't need to explode this, I can use edit text on the top and I can set that to minus one. Close that down and save the report by closing the tab, click on save and say yes to overwrite. And now when I run this, minus one means put the actual document list at the end. And now finally, the last choice, if we load the page template, and put the first content line, control E to edit text, and we set that to minus two. And this means when we close this down and save it, now on this template when we run it, we generate, we don't see the content list in there. So the content list isn't included in the list of sheets.